What's up you guys? It is Ashley here with Dancing with Ash and in today's tutorial we're going to be talking about the foundation you need to build to get those amazing turns out on the dance floor. We're going to be learning on where to properly place your weight on your foot and I'm also going to give you some drills and techniques to practice so you can get even more stellar rotation out on the dance floor. So grab a ballet bar, a chair, a friend, whatever, and be barefoot and meet me out on the dance floor. All right guys, so it's really important before we get started that you are truly um, barefoot, all right? I want you to kick off the shoes, take off the socks, and I want you to feel the floor, feel the ground that you're standing on. It's really important before we get started that your foot is as flat as possible. Um, it's as relaxed as possible because a relaxed flat foot is actually gonna help your balance even more than you think. <laughs> it, it's crazy. Um, so it's really important that we start off that way, okay? So I'm gonna put my hand on to the ballet bar. I'm gonna step on my right foot. You can use whatever foot you want and I'm gonna tuck my free leg behind the other one. I'm just going to place it somewhere and what I want us to do, this is just a little test, is I want you to go ahead and go on the ball of your foot or in releve, it doesn't have to be much, you don't have to go really extremely high, just go up into a releve and then I want you to let go. Okay, most of you are probably going to fall a left or into a right. Maybe some will fall forward or back, that's also normal as well. But what happens is a lot of us tend to put weight towards the pinky toe or towards the big toe. Or some of us just don't like that feeling of having our heel up. We might be more back weighted and we fall back. Okay, so our big toe, having our weight towards our big toe isn't going to help because it's actually going to make us fall over. Even though it's a bigger toe, it's got more meat to it, um, it's still not able to hold us up. But more than, more than I like to admit is the other two directions. They either fall back or they turn on their heel. No, 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 no. Or they put their weight towards their pinky toe. Oh my gosh, that pinky toe is like itty bitty. How is it gonna hold our weight? This is where a lot of us roll our ankles um, and just cause injury to the foot. So obviously all those directions aren't it, so what is? Okay, so I want you to think of my hand as our foot. This is our big toe. This is our pinky toe, okay? I want you to now think, moving forward, that you now have a sixth toe. You're like, what? This is our dancing toe, okay? <laughs> Just bear with me, I know it's weird. But I want you to think about it. So if I were to extend my leg, just think about the anatomy of the body. So here's my shin, right? And my shin is com like completely stacked on top of my ankle, which is then completely stacked on my sixth toe, which is the toe between the big toe and the second toe. That's our, that's our sweet spot for our balance because everything is actually stacked on top perfectly. It's perfectly stacked, okay? That's where we're gonna find our balance. It's not gonna to be towards our big toe, it's not gonna to be towards our pinky toe, and it's definitely not towards our heel. All right, so that is the spot. So we have to build our awareness. A lot of us tend to walk maybe even pigeon-toed, or may like have a duck walk naturally, our toes turned out. So it's very rare that most of us actually walk forward and back straight with our toes completely forward. So we have to train our body to do that and to actually pass through that point in our foot over our sixth toe. And this exercise, just the simple action of doing a releve, being aware that we're going over that point of our foot, our sixth toe string, is going to provide so much awareness, so much balance, and so much strength for our turns. Now in doing this, you're also going to build your ankle strength, you're going to build your calf muscle strength. You're, it's, it, you'll be amazed on what this strengthens, even your abs, the balance there. Um, it's pretty phenomenal just this act of balancing can do for your body. And having you know something stable there to use, you wanna just play. You know, you wanna feel, okay, I'm over my six toe string, right? Um, my six toe and you can balance. Just play with it. All right, let's try the other foot. OK, 
okay, there. And the other thing while I'm doing this is you also want to make sure that your balance is good, that your ears are over your shoulders, your shoulders are over your uh, ribs, and your ribs are over your hips. There's no way I could do this with my head forward, right? I'm actually using a lot more muscle <laughs> to have held that than I, I should have. My, my um, posture is really, really important in doing this as well. It's like if I were to have a string at the top of my head pulling me up, my abs are in, my butt is slightly tucked under, right? And I'm over that six toe string. So you wanna make sure all of that is in place as well. But let's build our ankles, our calves, uh, the muscles in our feet, and let's be aware of where we're putting our weight first. Okay, so next up, we're gonna be going over some drills on um, once you've learned that, that awareness. Now I'm gonna give you some stuff to help with your rotations and balance to do like a full 360 on your own. So I'll meet you here in just a second. All right, you guys, before we get started, I wanna make sure that you're wearing something on your feet. Um, I think turning with your bare skin on any surface, the friction of it, I think is really kind of painful. So I recommend really just protecting your feet and having something that you have grip as well as mobility on the floor. That can be your practice shoes, your Latin shoes, your jazz shoes, ballet shoes, or even a pair of socks will work. Uh, for me, I'm wearing my practice shoes. They have about an inch, inch and a half. You do not have to have a heel for this, um, but that's what I'm wearing and you want any of those choices that I just mentioned, you wanna make sure you have on your feet. Okay, so uh, we, in the previous um, exercises, we were working mainly with our right foot. I'm gonna take advantage of working with my left side, also known as my drunk side. We all have a, a stronger side, right or left. My left side is my, strong, uh, my drunk side, as I like to say it. So anyway, um, all right, so I'm, I'm balanced on my left leg, okay? My right foot is just, comfortably tucked behind. I am going into my sixth toe, right, for balance. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to look over my left shoulder. So if I'm on my left leg, I'm gonna be turning left. I'm gonna look left, and then I'm gonna to go towards my sixth toe, and then I'm going to rotate. And then I'm gonna repeat this at a quarter turn. So I'm gonna do it four times, and I'll get back to you. I'm gonna look and rotate. I'm going to look, then rotate. I'm going to look, then rotate. So what this is doing is helping us build awareness on where we're placing our weight and building our muscles and our strength on the turns. Now, why am I looking? It's So if you're, just go on this road with me. So if you're driving in a car and you look left to look at something, your car is going with you. Right? Or if you're looking right, your car's going right. Where your eyes go, your body follows. So this is really important that we are looking where we're going. So I'm looking first, and then I'm going, look, go, look, go, look, go. And these are all quarter rotations. Again, you can also repeat this on your right side, which I can do now, right? So I'm look, turn, look, turn, look, turn, I'm losing balance, maybe the right side, my drunk side, look, turn, <laughs> right? Um, am I, I'm keeping my hands, ideally I wanna keep them in a neutral position, you know, sometimes I use my arms for the turn. Try and keep them here, so you're fully using the correct muscles in the hips and the legs, your ankles, your calves, to make the rotation happen. Now once you're pretty comfortable with that direction, or your quarter turns, now I want you to level up. Okay, you can take this into a half turn. Again, I'm setting myself up with my right foot comfortably behind my left ankle. I'm going to look over my left shoulder and I'm going to do a half rotation. I'm gonna try that again. Turn, look, then turn, look, turn. And you notice there's a little bit more torque in my upper body to make that happen. Now this is as far as you can go without getting more into more body work into doing your full rotations. So this is, I think this is plenty. This is plenty enough for you guys to work on to build that foundation, the awareness of your weight placement into the foot, 
and as well as your quarter and half turn exercises that you can do really anywhere. Thank you guys so much for watching and dancing with me and learning the proper technique on your turns. I hope to see you guys turning all over the place in this world. Make sure you even tag me. I would love to see where you guys are practicing. Um, all the information will be below. If you like what you saw in this video, make sure you like it, share with your friends. And if you'd love to see more from me, make sure you subscribe uh, when I upload my videos every Thursday. And yeah, thank you guys so much. Love you all. Happy dancing.